Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a purple and green halo eye. I am starting off using my favorite P. Louise base. This base is my favorite eyeshadow base of all time. I genuinely, like for dramatic looks, it just, it freaking works, y'all. It's my favorite. I use the shade 0.5. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to be starting with my Glamoween palette in collaboration with Spoiled Cosmetics. Uh, if you have not gotten this palette yet, guys, like, yes, it's my collaboration, but I love this palette so, so much. There is so many things you can do with it. I'm starting off with the black shade called Cobweb, and I'm putting that on the outer and inner part of my eye, and I'm just kind of building that up. And then I am going in with the Recently Deceased palette from Melt Cosmetics, and I'm going to be using these two purple shades, the matte ones, so I'm going in with the darker one first, blending it out around the edges, and I'm just packing it on. I always start by packing on the shadows first, and then I kind of go in and slightly start blending it out a little bit. I love using smaller brushes to do this. ColourPop Cosmetics has some great brushes, Sigma Beauty has some great brushes, and Morphe has a few. Um, I typically try to go for synthetic haired brushes. I just think they work better with blending personally. So I did the black, I did the dark purple, and now I'm going in with the lighter purple and just really blending out the edges. And then I'll go back in to the black and I'll add more black and then I'll go back into the dark purple, add more dark purple, and then I'll go back in with the lighter purple, add more lighter purple and keep blending until I am satisfied with the dramaticness of, it, of this. So typically, especially with um, pressed pigments like the Milk Cosmetics palettes, it's better to start in by just packing it on first and then going back in and doing a lot of layering. I'm now taking this green matte shade from the Recently Deceased palette and I'm packing that on the middle while also going back and forth with the purples um, just to kind of blend in a little bit. I obviously wanted it to be a halo eye, so I didn't want to do too much of the purple in the middle of my eye. And then I took my shade Lucky 13 from my Glamoween palette and I just pressed that right on top of the lime green. Also, just so you guys know, my Glamoween palette is only $26, and then you can use the code Sydney Nicole, and it'll save you even more money. Um, $26 is... That's a deal for a palette, y'all, and I'm running low on these palettes. There's not very many of them left, so if you want to get one, go on the Spoiled Cosmetics uh, website. I have the link in my description box, and make sure you get you one because they're going to be gone soon. Seriously. I went ahead and did liner with my Anastasia liquid liner, did my base, and now I'm going with my KVD Vegan Beauty Anti-Precision Liner for my lower lash line, and I'm just smoking it out. I first start with the black just to set the liner because I like a really, really dramatic uh, lower lash line, so I use a lot of liner on my lower lash line, so I set it with the black shadow, then go in with the dark purple, then go in with the light purple, and blend it all out. I'm using my Ursula highlighter from ColourPop and I'm using that in the inner corner of my eye. As you can tell, I'm very obsessed with this highlight because she's <laughs> she is broken in, honey. I've used her a lot of times. I'm also using that same highlighter to highlight my brow bone. And then also to highlight my face. I love the ColourPop highlights because they're like a tacky kind of they're not like a cream, but they're not a powder. They're like in the middle, and I really press it into my skin so the highlight is popping, and you can always put something on top of these too, and it'll make the highlight like just literally out of this freaking world. So I really love the ColourPop highlight formula. I'm going in with my Anastasia liquid liner again, doing my inner corner point that I love to do. And then I put some mascara on and I'm going in with these Tati lashes. These are the T.L. Mitchell lashes. I love these so much. I always cut a little bit off the end, put some black lash glue on top of my liner and also on the lash band of the eyelashes and then pop those bad boys on. And I really just kind of wiggle them around and mess with the lashes until I am satisfied with how they're sitting and they, if they feel comfortable. Oh yes, I put a little lip liner on, put my ghosty earrings in and now I'm going in with two different Melt Cosmetics um, liquid lipsticks. So these are both both from the Beetlejuice collection. These are so stunning. This one is black with like purple glitter in it. So I put this one on first and it's kind of one of those things where you rub it a little bit and the glitter will keep coming out. Um, and then I'm going in with this lighter purple one and I put that just right in the middle to add a little reflection because uh, oh girl she cute. I really really love this look. I had to do something spooky. I'm missing Halloween, so I had to really, you know, I had to get spooky with it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting me. I love you so much, and make sure you stay tuned for my next tutorial. Bye, guys.